major updates on the tragedy at the Highland Park Reservoir. The boil water advisory was lifted overnight after a body was found there earlier this week. City leaders nearly say nearly a month ago a Rochester man fell into the water and died, but he wasn't found until Tuesday. Natalie Kuchko joins us now with more on the questions both Rochester's mayor and the park's board are now raising. Natalie. Teresa, the victim has been identified as 29-year-old Abduli Muya, who we're told scaled that eight-foot fence surrounding the water, fell in, slipped, and never resurfaced. They say this was just a terrible accident, and that was just over four weeks ago. Rochester Mayor Malik Evans says there is no concern over the reservoir's water quality, but he is calling the park security protocols into question. In the early morning of February 24th, police say 29 year old Abduli Muya jumped over the fence at the Highland Park Reservoir, slipped, and fell to his death. Muya had been missing since February 18th. His body was not discovered until Tuesday morning. There was no one else present, and it does not appear that there is any criminal element to this investigation. Our heartfelt condolences go out to the Muya family who have been diligently searching for him since they reported him missing. Mayor Malik Evans says it raises questions on the park's security, how someone could breach the reservoir area, and why it took so long to find him there. There's also cameras around the perimeter, some with heat and motion sensors. The Bureau is patrolled regularly by uh, city security and Water Bureau personnel. The Highland Park Conservancy's president calls this an unimaginable tragedy and also shares the same concerns. It's the worst thing you can kind of imagine. We have every faith in the dedication and expertise of the Rochester Water Bureau and every faith in the um, in Monroe County Department of Parks. We'll see what what's behind this awful incident. Mayor Evans says the water is routinely tested daily and weekly. Nothing over the last month, he says, stood out in the results that it was testing safely with additional tests conducted as a precaution. When it comes to covering the reservoir, the mayor says that's to be determined. But unfortunately, this conversation is going to have to uh, resurface probably um, very soon. As long as we are in, in compliance with state and federal guidelines, and we are, um, in terms of keeping the water safe, it's, it's open for now. And as for what's next, city crews are now emptying that reservoir, which again has been tested by both the state and city as safe. We're told it will take around eight weeks to drain and clean it. That process was already scheduled for this May, but is of course happening now because of what took place. Teresa, back to you.